Okanagan Spirits Craft Distillery is the very first craft distillery in British Columbia. As a craft distillery, we only use products that are grown in British Columbia. We are located in Vernon and Kelowna, BC. My name is Craig. Welcome to Okanagan Spirits Craft Distillery. I hope you are enjoying your cheese experience tonight. I'd like to thank the amazing David Baudouin for including us in his presentation. So I know that you're using some of our drunken cherries this evening, and I thought I'd tell you a little bit about them. These are actually sour cherries that we use to make our cherry liqueur. We take those sour cherries, we soak them in our apple neutral spirit for about three months, press them gently, put them in the jar, and then pour some of that cherry liqueur over the top. Now, I don't want you to waste the liquid in, that's in there because that is in fact cherry liqueur. So what I'm gonna do is show you a quick cocktail this evening that you can make with some of that leftover liquid. Lots of people like to put it on ice cream. I like it in a cocktail. We have four components for this cocktail. We have our family reserve vodka, our cherry liqueur, some lemon juice. It's better if it's freshly squeezed, but it doesn't have to be. And we have some simple syrup. A lot of people are confused about what simple syrup is. There's a reason it's called simple syrup. It's simple to make. Equal volume, sugar, and hot water. So if you use 100 milliliters of sugar, use 100 milliliters of boiling water. Once you've made that simple syrup, you can be, get fancy, put different flavors into it. You could do some vanilla extracts, some cloves, or a cinnamon stick. That's gonna infuse the flavor of cinnamon into your simple syrup. Now I'm gonna build the cocktail. Very simple. Get a shaker. Get some ice, I probably should have pre-done that. One part vodka. One part cherry liqueur. Half part lemon juice. Half part simple syrup. Put the top back on the shaker. Give it a good shake. Want to get it nice and cold. You can usually feel that cold coming through the metal of the shaker. Once you feel it's cold enough, strain it into a glass. And garnish it with some cherry liqueurs. It's that simple. Enjoy.